Alright guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to figure out what the hell's going on with the truck. Let me show you what happened on the road earlier today. Alright guys, so ignore the low tire pressure because uh, we just had a bunch of cold weather here and I do need to add a little more air to the tires now. But, uh, check out what's happening right now with the truck. So, it's working pretty good right now, just cruising. But if I step on the gas, like try to accelerate, it's not picking up well. Check engine light flashes, and the truck feels like it's just lost power to the engine. But then you kind of cruise for a little bit. I don't know if you can tell right now, but the truck is kind of shaking a little. There's a little shake to it. But nothing else is off on it. I think all the gauges look fine. And then it stops. Stop shaking now. And then check engine light is going to stop blinking. See? We're gonna check out, we're gonna plug it in to find out what the heck is this, what's going on? Well, the good news is that we can test out our new OBD Link MX Plus Bluetooth device. Uh, it's rated as one of the best Bluetooth devices for your OBD2 port. It has an app on Android and on Apple, and you can connect it to your Windows uh, computer also. So I'm not gonna go into detail and explain everything that this device does, but I really encourage you, if you're interested in this device, to go to Engineering Explained video. He has an amazing video that goes into detail on everything that this little device can do. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description also. All right, so we're going to connect our OBD Link MX Plus to the OBD2 port, which is right here. Push all the way in, and you see the lights turn on. We're going to see if we can connect to it, pushing this button here so Bluetooth connects, okay? There it goes. Alright, so we're going to download the app at your app store, OBD Link. There it is. Click install. I already installed it, so you, you do have to activate the Bluetooth on your phone. Make sure it connects. There it is. And you do the registration, you give permissions, and do any updates. It's going to go kind of fast on here. All right, so now let's go to Diagnostics. I'm going to select all. Let it run. All right, and there it is, P0305, cylinder 5, misfire. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all the spark plugs on the truck. All right, so we're going to start with moving the oil cap cover and the engine cover. And then don't forget to put the oil cap back on so no debris goes inside it. Okay, so this is what it looks like underneath. You got cylinder one, two, and three on this side. This is how they're numbered by Ford. And on the other side, we have cylinder four, five, six. Right plate number five is this one. So this is the one that's misfiring, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of them. These are eight millimeters or five sixteenths, about the same. We got a five eighths with the rubber insert. A little more of an extension here. I'm gonna slide right in. Make sure it's all the way loose. So when you pull it out, the whole thing comes out. Um. All right, so I bought some spark plugs. We're gonna go ahead and replace all the spark plugs on the truck. These here, uh, I was trying to find out if these were uh, gappable or I guess adjustable on the gap. And these surprisingly are not. They come set the way they are. There's no adjustability to them. So I measured them out and it is 0 0.03 on them. All right, so that's the used one. Still a little hot. That's the new one. I mean, it's not horrible, but man, that does look pretty worn out. And it came out pretty smooth. The new one looks so much cleaner though, look at that. All right, so I want to test out 
the old ones because these are kind of known for opening up with usage, especially on the EcoBoost. And this year they're almost at 0.04. They're supposed to be at 0.03 or 0.032, ideally. So yeah, these are a little opened up and worn out. We're gonna put a little NTCs just to make sure these come out easily next time we replace them. Sometimes you gotta try it a few times to get this thing out. Spark plugs in there. Now you gotta put the boot in. Straight down, just straight down. You can feel it kind of click in. And then we plug this sucker back in. Hear the click, and you push the little tab back in. That secures it in. And then this goes back in here. And this makes sure it doesn't pop out. Then you repeat the process on all the spark plugs, just one at a time though. Alright, gotta make sure everything's nice and tight on all sides. I right, gotta put this protector back on. Alright, so let's hook up the dashboard and see what it sounds like and check out some of these gauges too. So you have mile per hour gauge, temperature gauge, airflow, back gauge, fuel gauge. So let's go test it out for a drive. All right guys, so y'all know how to take traction control off on these trucks, right? Most cars now have a button that says traction control and it'll tell you it's off. But do you know how to take traction control off and put it in sport mode? Check this out. Take it back off. Okay. Now we're gonna double click it, okay? Now that is traction control 100% off, not just like 90% or 75% off. All right, so I'm gonna demo a couple other features that are in this OBD lock. MX, you can go sideways. Like I said, you can customize all these gauges to whatever you want, even colors and where the they're digital. There's a whole set of other gauges right next. And then there's also turbos. You can add and change these any way you want. It's pretty cool. You also got a map. You can actually track to see where you're at and where you're doing.
right guys thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos i got too